Ule reporting there. Well, let's talk more about China's space program with James Rice. He's a planetary scientist with the Mars Exploration Rover Project and a senior scientist at the Planetary Science Institute in Arizona. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. I want to first talk about the race to Mars and China's role in it. Uh, yeah, thank you for having me. Um, yeah, this, this month of July, um, as you mentioned in a re previous report, the United Arab Emirates launched their HOPE mission uh, two days ago. It's now on its interplanetary cruise to Mars, and it's going to go into orbit in, uh, around Mars probably in February time frame. Uh, and then we're waiting almost uh, roughly information I've got about three hours from now is China will launch their Mars mission. I've seen, seen reports that the vehicle is fueled, service platforms have rotated to launch position, and uh, some of my sources tell me the launch will happen a little less than three hours from now, so we'll see, but, but it hasn't officially been announced, of course, you know that. But um, uh, and then the United States, uh, NASA, we're gonna launch a mission uh, a week, but a week from now, next Thursday, July 30th, uh, called Perseverance Rover. So Mars is uh, really gonna come into focus uh, from the planet Earth, and uh, so it will be uh, all these spacecraft should arrive in Mars uh, orbit or on the surface in February of next year. So it's going to be a very, very busy time. There's about a seven month cruise to get to Mars. Uh, all three missions will follow that uh, same timeline. Um, and uh, then, you know, we have to hope that, uh, uh, that the U.S rover lands successfully, and I, I'm sure China's got the same feelings about getting their lander and rover down also. And China also has an orbiter, part of their uh, uh, package that's going to Mars. Um, so it's, uh, it's a lot of stuff going to be going on, uh, you know, these, these weeks, and also especially when February gets here. So here on Earth, we've seen China and the U.S. very competitive with one another. Are they engaged in a, in a race? for space supremacy, in your opinion? Uh, I don't think so. I think the United States still has a very large lead over China. We've been landing spacecraft on Mars since 1976, and we're the only country that's done that thus far successfully. Uh, so I, I don't think it's a race. This is China's first attempt to land on the surface. Uh, Mars is a very tough place to go. Uh, United States, we've been very fortunate. We've only had one failure at uh, uh, landing attempt, and then uh, eight successes. So uh, we've done pretty well, but Mars is a tough place. And, uh, you know, you never know. You can't never count these things as a done deal because a lot of things can happen between now and, and the mission to land on the surface or even to go into orbit. It's just it's been a tough place to go. It's often called uh, the graveyard of the solar system, Mars is. Uh, I, I don't really see it as a race uh, myself. I've seen a lot of press reports saying it's a race for space supremacy, uh, I, I don't really see that right now. I think China, with this mission, is going to try to establish himself as, as a key player in space exploration. And if they can do this mission successfully, it will go a long way in doing that. But, but I, I personally, I think that NASA still has a large lead over any other countries on Earth. Ch China got a late start in the space game. It only put its first man uh, out there uh, on the moon in 2003, I believe, its first man in space. Uh, that's decades after the U.S. did it. Uh, has it significantly and impressively caught up? I think, yeah, China has. They've made uh, very large leaps and bounds of, uh, of uh, progress, and they've taken advantage of a lot of the lessons learned by, the, by NASA and the old Soviet space program in the 1960s and 70s and 80s. And so they've learned to do things that you don't have to do, do all these intricate steps They've been paved out, and technology has improved, and so they made uh, you know leaps and bounds. Um, so even with their man program and their robotic program, they made made some major strides. And uh, you know the moon is a big focus, and this Long March rocket, which is due to launch the mission to Mars and later this year, is going to launch a lunar mission. And this mission, Chang'e Five, is going to actually grab samples of the moon and bring them back to Earth. Um, and that hasn't been done since 1976. Um, that was a robotic probe that the Soviet Union had. And of course, the Apollo missions between 1969 and 1972 brought back hundreds of uh, pounds of moon rock and soil. So um, China, like you said, they got a late start. They made a good bit of progress, though. And 
I would say, I don't know this for a fact, but um, to me, reading between the lines, I think China's definitely got its focus on landing astronauts on the moon. Uh, I haven't seen the timeline, but if you look at the program and what they're doing, it's pretty obvious that's uh, a major thrust of the Chinese space program, as well as you know this Mars mission we're talking about. But I think the moon is, is a big focus for China, robotically and with uh, astronauts. All right, James Rice from the Planetary Science Institute, thank you.